All right, how to make a quick montage or collage. Now, let's just say I uh, have all these images here that the client uh, picked out and that I've done. And now she came back and she asked that she wanted a montage or a collage. So what do I do? Well, the first thing you do is you get to create a new canvas for the size of the montage that you want. So let me just go here and I'm just going to do this for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to make this 10 inches by 5 inches and I'm only going to go 72 dpi just for this video just so it goes faster. I would normally probably have this around 250 or 300 dpi. So that is our blank canvas that we are going to drop our images onto. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get my images onto this canvas and there's several ways of doing it. You can drag and drop, you can crop, you can use the lasso tool. Now I have here the one thing that you want to figure out first would be you know what kind of layout do you want to actually do. Now I notice I've got a few horizontal images here and I also have a vertical image uh, which was the very first one. So I'm actually going to make the vertical image uh, different than all the horizontal images. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a selection around uh, Haley here and I'm actually going to cut her out of this image and uh, to paste onto my canvas as a standalone. So I'm simply just going to use the lasso tool and uh, make my selection around Haley. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a selection of a feather. I'm just going to go one pixel. And now I'm simply just going to use my move tool. And I'm simply just going to, uh, you know, drag and drop onto the image. Now I'm just going to resize this because my images are 250 dpi and my canvas is only um, 72 dpi. So I'm going to put this, you know, I'm going to leave this right about here just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my images uh, onto my canvas. Now for these I'm just going to crop them. I'm just going to crop out my border. They're already done so I'm just going to 4 by 6 72 dpi so I'm just going to do the old crop and simply with the move tool drag and drop just like that. And I'm just going to do that for each one of these. cropping, using the move tool, dragging and dropping. Now I'm not doing any color corrections to these right now because you can do that yourself. I'm just showing you how to make a quick and simple collage or montage. There we have it. So now I've got all my images onto my canvas. Now the first thing I do is I'm just going to use the free transform tool or control T and I'm just going to transform these. And I'm simply just going to select the next one and I'm going to go shift control T which is transform again. And what it does is it transforms each of those images to the same size. Now I'm going to click on auto select layer here so that every time I click on it the image it automatically selects that layer. Now what I want to do is I'm going to uh, you know bring in my guides so that I can easily um, space out my images. By pressing Control L, you're, you can activate and deactivate your ruler, as you can see here. And all you simply do is just uh, click and drag out to pull out a new guide. You can also put a new guide by going to View, New Guide. And I'm just going to set this to 50%, so I automatically know where the middle is. And I'm going to place one image right into the middle. And I'm going to slap one in the corners here. Now I can automatically see that you know I my images are still too big so I'm simply just going to do the old free transform again and the shift control T for each one thereafter. Perfect. So now I'm just going to drag them up into the corner just for now. We'll make this one the middle. Now I'm going to pull another guide down to snap into the middle of that. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to pull my guide out here and I'm going to go about a half an inch in on each side. So there we go. And then I can bring this one over and I can bring this one over. Bring those centered. 
And now I'm just going to use my cursor keys just to space this out. Now again, you can use guides, you know, to get your spacing perfect on that. But just for demonstration purposes, so I don't want a nice long video on this, I'm just going to leave this like this. There we go. Now I'm going to add my drop shadow, or if I wanted to, I can add a stroke to each one also. So I'm just going to go into the first one, double click for my layers properties, and I'm going to add a stroke. Now I don't like that color, so let's just choose a pink color from the shirt, just like that. And let's bring the stroke down to, say, two pixels. Perfect. And let's add a drop shadow. So we're just going to go like that, and I can adjust the height and everything, and the opacity. Perfect. I'm just going to bring you down just a bit. Now I can just take this effect, and I'm just going to drag it up into each of the opposite, the other layers there, just like that. Now in the background, I'm just going to use my text tool, and I'll just type her name, Haley, and let's just highlight it and go into the font size, and let's just take a nice big, let's get this nice and big like that, perfect. Now I'm going to highlight my text and use my up and down arrow keys just to scroll between the different fonts until I find the one that I like. Ah, let's just use this one. Perfect. Now again, since it's on its own layer, I'm just going to press Control T or Free Transform, and that way I can just give it a rotate. And we'll double click the the layer to bring up our layer styles, and let's add a drop shadow. And maybe a bevel emboss. and maybe an outer glow and we'll choose a nice we'll go with a pink and if I want press T for my text tool and go back over and increase the font color there just like that and I can always move these around and uh, you know and um, resize them or rotate them or change the um, change the uh, the drop shadows or the fonts or anything like that. So there you have it. It's you know it's pretty quick. It's mostly just drag and drop. The trick is to get all your images uh, ready beforehand and uh, you know simply just drag them and drop them and place them into uh, into place. Uh, you know you have each of your own uh, images and text on their own layer, so you can actually uh, uh, toggle between them to move them and rotate them and uh, resize them. All right.